What is the worst case of kids bullying a teacher in school, have you ever witnessed? I was in 9th grade. We had a teacher that couldn't start the beginning of the year because she unexpectedly lost her baby. She either had a stillbirth or lost the baby during birth. She started school about two weeks after classes started. She explained to us that she was still struggling but was ready to get to work. I had these few boys in my class that relentlessly told dead baby jokes. Sometimes to the point where she would have to leave the room. I'm 24 now, and we lost a baby in my family in a similar way. When I think about that poor teacher now my heart just shatters. Kids can be so awful. One of my social studies teachers had this classroom with a big storage closet, and so he went back there one day to grab a documentary, and when he was in there some kid pulled the door shut and locked it. The class then spent the entire period watching Superbid on the little car TV that had been wheeled in the movie. I had the class the period afterwards, when they finally let him out, and he had this just sad defeated vibe for the next few days. There was a history teacher in my middle school who was gay, and when his students found out, they hit him hard with it. He eventually broke down, and cried in front of the class about it, and talking about how much he loves his students, and couldn't understand why they would treat him like that. And middle school kids are like sharks. You spill a little bit of blood in the water and they are going to have a feast. Any signs of weakness and those kids will take full advantage of it. We had a substitute English teacher, while our regular teacher was out on maternity. The substitute teacher was very young. Probably only about 21. Kids used to make her life hell. And just didn't respect her. No one listened to a thing she said. Everyone interrupted her when she was talking. People threw stuff at her when her back was turned. No one did any homework she gave them, including me. But I never done any homework so. She cried one day in class and everyone just left to go to the next class. It was a huge thing at the time. And everyone was like we made her cry ha 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 point I felt really bad, even though I wasn't involved, and I bought her some chocolate with my lunch money and brought it back to English class. Even my sister called me a dork for that, slash. I used to teach 4th grade. The day we got back from winter break my first year one of my favorite students gave me a hug and said, Mr. Yams with strats are up. You look fat and sleepy. Thanks Yadara. There's this lovely old Asian man who teaches math at my school. He is one of the loveliest people I have ever met. He makes a huge effort to remember your name who you're related to and always says hi how are you. Every time he sees you in his dorky cute foreign voice. He's too calm and nice, so the kids in my year constantly yell at him and disobey him. Even when he's sick they'll just torment him, by walking around the room, taking confiscated items etc. I feel so bad for him. Back when I was in 8th grade, I was riding the school bus in the morning. And one of the bitchiest girls in 7th grade found a dead lizard in the bus and took it to their teacher. The teacher was a very nice old woman who taught for around 40 years and loved her students. Anyway as soon we got off the bus and into the school. The bitch girl immediately put the dead lizard on the teacher's desk and their teacher was screaming and hyperventilating. As soon as that happened, our teacher, who was a young woman in her 20s, immediately went to the 7th grade room and gave them a stern talking about why it was wrong and how they fucked up. We found out later that the 7th graders wanted their teacher to get a heart attack and die on the spot and they were laughing about too. They were so fucked up. In sophomore year at high school, I had this world history teacher who was this really cool, really smart and kind kind of younger guy. He was a fantastic teacher. But he was kind of timid around the students when they would act up more. Especially the girls who would tease him more. One girl in particular seemed to get a kick out of making him uncomfortable. Usually by this sort of weird flirting when he'd tell her to stop talking in class. It really made me upset sometimes. Because it was obvious he hated it. But was just hesitant about giving her any sort of ammo. The tables turned one day, though. See, this girl had this huge disgust over stray hairs. She would react in terror if there were more than a couple stray hairs on her desk. So, one day, when she's out of her seat in class and gossiping or something, he goes by her desk, 
is making a cover by talking to one of us about the assignment, and with a nervously suppressed grin, uses a pair of scissors to trim his hairy arm onto her desktop. When she sat back down, after being told to, and notices a desk covered in stray hair, she ran out of the classroom, gagging and panicking like a small dog having a fit. Later that year, when a few of us were in his room during lunch, he showed us a bunch of pictures of his college friends and trips and stuff, and noticing a thumbnail, we get him to reluctantly open a picture of him in full US Army combat kit with a few other soldiers, standing in the turret of a tank in Afghanistan or Iraq, can't remember which. He was the driver, and did a tour, blew our minds, he was a solid guy, but he was always so dorky and earnest, and never acted anything like a soldier. It made me think, this guy probably went through so many pranks from his guys. He must have been itching to get back at this girl, and just couldn't hold back a kinda smallish prank on her to get the score even. Nobody gave him real grief after that, though, ultimately, I think it was too unexpected for a teacher to learn and use our phobias to keep us in line if we pushed too hard, like we were years behind him and fucking with people. We had a kid who, with respect, acted like a science experiment where one's human rationale is stripped away and is left with nothing but the animal sense to survive. There was one instance where he lashed out and had to be contained like a wild animal. Phil likes to kill. Art class. Creativity. Collaboration. Bloodshed. Vampirism. It was any other day in art class, where we were screwing around with clay and trying to make something out of them, but ended up making blue turds as always. The art teacher, whose name was Mr. Art, decided to go around and judge us. Now Mr. Art is a guy you wouldn't want to mess with. Six feet tall, and built like an MMA fighter, but with the gentleness of a butterfly. Anyway he goes to Phil over there, and tells him to stop trying to ruin other people's stuff too, which he took offense. Phil swiped at Mr. Art with his sharp, cat-like claw nails. Art parries and grabs him by the stomach. Phil continues to lash out at everyone now. Feet and hands flailing like a turkey trying to escape. Art did his best to walk out the door with him but not without sustaining an injury or two. Phil got lucky and connected with an uppercut punch to the jaw and followed it up with a vicious bite onto Art's right forearm, enough to draw blood, if you think that was bad enough. Phil then proceeded to lick the blood on his lips. Art put Phil down on the ground hard and sat on him whilst waiting for the police to arrive. We wait in silence for about 10 minutes before a nearby officer responds to the scene. Before the officer showed up, Phil had gone, silent but his eyes were filled with thoughts of Armageddon. As the officer arrives he's surprised by the teacher, and asks him to get off to which Art warned that he is no normal child. Officer laughs it off, and Art slowly gets up. Nothing. Phil is motionless, but his eyes are darting. The officer was about to reprimand Art here for excessive violence when Phil lunged for the officer's sidearm, and attempted to remove it from its holster. The officer, at first shocked, did nothing but he came to his senses and dropped Phil the same way Art did. Phil continued to try and reach for the gun, but the officer quickly put handcuffs on his hands and feet. Phil continued to struggle whilst staring down the officer and Art. He was carried to the patrol car snarling away at everyone and anything that looked sideways at him like a wild boar that was captured and trying to escape. I remember the officer taking him away with Phil banging his head on the window as the car drove off into the distance. I'm not sure what became of Phil, but his reign of terror ended with art. I would like to have been able to tell about his other rampages, but I don't recall all the instances he was possessed. Oh and as to how he got the motto Phil likes to kill? Phil was seen one day cutting open a squirrel he killed in the playground. He had decapitated it and was inspecting the innards with a stick and sharp piece of metal he got from what looked like a piece of the table. First year female teacher was getting onto a troublemaker girl who always mouthed off. She started screaming and cursing at the teacher calling her horrible things. The teacher starts professionally yelling at her to leave the classroom and the girl says I'm gonna have my friends rape your daughter and kill her. The teacher walked out of the room. 
Everyone was telling the girl how fucked up that was. A few male teachers came into the room and took the girl out of the classroom. We had another teacher sit with us the rest of the class period. A friend of mine said he saw my teacher crying in the hallway from another classroom after she left. I remember in 7th grade, there was this teacher right down the hall from the classroom, which I had 3 of my classes in. I would constantly hear yelling, screaming, things being thrown, etc. She had a reputation for being one of the worst teachers in the school. One day she just broke down and cried in front of her class. Then, her class lost it and literally ran out of her room and went somewhere in the 8th grade hall. Some of them were caught and suspended. Anyway, one of my classmates decided to look into her window and she saw just an empty classroom during 6th period with a sobbing teacher in it. It got so serious among us even our teacher at the time went in to comfort her. That year, her class had the worst scores on any subject on the CRCT, or whatever it was called. Worse, since she always yelled at her students, she had worked up a bad reputation with the other teachers. I think she was fired after only one year of teaching. In 8th grade, my US history teacher had a student teacher for the last part of the year. He wasn't the most attractive guy, and some of the popular guys started calling him a flack because they said he looked like a duck. They'd quack at him when he'd ask the class to do something, and they'd whisper a flack all during class. Poor guy. He didn't really stand up for himself. Like he's self-conscious about his looks, and was trying to ignore it. In my junior year of high school our English teacher got called out of class. Someone turned off the lights. I thought no biggie. Shit happens. When she came back in the room someone threw, and hit her with a hardback English school book. Hit her in the head. She wasn't young either. At least 60. I'm going to take this in a slightly different direction. I had a math teacher that, as I'm now an adult, I have so much respect for. It was 6th grade and all we did as a class was raise hell. Nothing insane just a lot of obnoxious stuff. A few of the things we did were having a razor fights and stealing all his chalk. He was a huge prude, so we'd find ways to work the number 69 into anything so he'd blush. It even got so bad with that number that one time when doing a math problem on the board he realized 5 minutes in that that was going to be the answer and just said never mind and erased it. He'd change your grade if that's what it came out to as well. It got to the point that he'd send kids to ice just for saying it. Finally he'd always say throw me a bone guys when we were not getting it but should be. We all brought in dog treats for like a week waiting for him to say it and when he did we all threw them at him. He actually laughed at that one though. He left for a different school after that year. His first year at my school. The thing is, no matter how bad we pushed him, he never screamed at us and never lost his cool. I was one of the worst and the few times I actually needed help he really pulled through for me and you could tell he absolutely cared so much. I actually ran into him later in life and had the opportunity to apologize for being such a little shit. He was super nice then too. Thanks Mr. W. You were one of the best teachers I had 